often, it would be nice to be able to create some sort of message box in HTML that wasn't the alert box that JavaScript gives us. And that's because the alert box or the input box is another function that we can use, are very formatted, very rigid, and don't give us a lot of flexibility. Additionally, we have no way of getting input from the message box, and we can get very limited input from the input box. Luckily, jQuery UI gives us the ability to do this very easily with their dialog widget. Now here, I have a basic HTML page. I have a div with an ID so I can use the selector on it. And I have a title, and we'll see that the title is very important in just a minute. Now I've already loaded my jQuery and jQuery UI. Now, in our own script tag, we're going to call the jQuery UI dialog widget. I'm going to save that. Go into our browser. This is our unformatted HTML. And if I reload it, you can see that it now formats it inside of a dialog box. It takes the title that I had for my div and puts it into an equivalent of a title bar and gives us a little close. Now dialog is going to allow us to use draggable. So if I click on my title bar, I can move it around. If I click on the X, it closes that window and you can see it as normal. But what happens if I don't want my window to automatically open up? Switch back to my text editor, add a new parameter, and the parameter I want to add is going to be auto open. Now auto open by default is set to true. However, we need this to be set to false, that will be closed. But if we have it automatically closed, we need to provide a way for it to open. So we'll create a button with an ID that we can use. Then inside of our click event handler, we're going to use our selector for message. And we're going to pass in the value to our dialog to be open. Now, when I reload, you'll notice I don't have my dialog box open. But if I click on open window, it'll open up for me. I can close and reopen if I need to. Of course, this also just kind of pops right in. We may want to create a different effect. Inside my text editor, I'm going to add a new property, one for show. And this is going to be a JavaScript object because we're going to pass in two values. The first is the effect. The second is going to be the duration. Likewise, I can also create an effect to hide. Back to my browser, click open. As it opens slowly, as a fade in, when I click on my close X, it blinds and closes up. In our next example, we'll look at how we can create our own buttons so we don't have just that little X. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way, you can get the most up-to-date information.